Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it was a solid team effort from us. Um, I thought our bench really was uh, contributed very well for us. And, um, you know, we were in foul trouble, much like Cincinnati. And we just got to learn how to guard without fouling, how to be a step ahead of the plate defensively. And uh, But I like our competitive edge in the paint. I'd rather be over physical than less physical. And if our bench can perform like that, you know, um, we can survive the fouls, I think. But again, it was uh, people came off the bench, helped us. Miles obviously got hot at the right time. And Jerome was very good in his role. I like him in that role. I like him being a catalyst and an attack mode type of player coming off the bench. Hey, what can you say about uh, Miles, especially in the second half? He got the 1,000 points out of the way, and then he had 21-6 in the second half. Yeah, uh, I saw the stat board, and he didn't have any blocked shots. I was a little bit disappointed in that. <laughs> uh, now, he, again, at the right time, Jerry, you know, he made uh, timely threes. Uh, got to the line, made a few, made the free throws, got some drives, some dimes uh, at the at the rim, and some drawing kicks for his teammates. So um, and look, and Wally played, you know, look without his with his fouls and some frustration there. Thought he was pretty effective coming down the stretch too. Yeah, because you know we're playing JJ at guard and uh, Malik Kone at guard some, so he has to take a load. Um, running the show and executing and setting up our play quarterback in the team and I think he got loose when Jerome it was a second that was a second guard and now Miles could concentrate on being a, a scorer but it just helps him and opens up the floor but again uh, they started in a zone I thought we were effective in it with with Kadeem and Wally uh, and Junior and then um, so they were going back and forth zone and man then they went back to man mostly and um, so we executed pretty well Um, yeah, you know, he, he got a foul, and it's no use to put him back quickly on the bench. And he just loses all the rhythm of the game, you know, and you have to trust him a little bit. It didn't work, but I knew our bench was playing well, and so I could risk him playing some with that fourth foul yeah. or third foul. It was risky both ways, and so he got quick fouls. He went from three to four in a hurry and went from four to five in a hurry. But uh, I'd rather him try to see if he could work it through it as opposed to sitting him on the bench and, you know, then lose what am I saving him for, for him to come back in and be stiff and not having the rhythm of the game. So I just took a risk and took a chance. Hey, on that same note, uh, Wally had four fouls, but the play gave you a lot down the stretch. What was the difference in the way Wally was able to avoid foul number five NBA factor? I thought, I thought he just got a better hold on their personnel. Um, you know, they went into his body first, and he got some fouls that way. Some I thought were undeserved, um, but, you know, that's the way life is in basketball. And he got frustrated for a little bit, but then regathered his composure and did some good things at the end. Uh, you have to ask him what, what changed his mind. But, again, I just thought he got a better hold of their personnel. Um, double the season average. Um, he's a good player. He's a real good player. And, um, you know, he just got off tonight. I thought we could lock down on him. And J.J. was so pumped up to guard him, he got two quick fouls. So uh, I thought Malik did a decent job on him. And what he does, he attacks. He runs pick and rolls, and he attacks the bigs. And that's why Wally was in, in foul trouble and Kadeem some. But uh, he really takes the ball to the basket. He, he's very, he has a knack of drawing fouls and getting to the line. He's a good player. And uh, Devon, was, did not play with Coach's coach decision? Yeah, that's the only thing bad I did tonight, I thought. <laughs> Didn't play him. No, it's, a, you know, Jerome had it going. And I, I, I tried to play. We had to play a big guard. Uh, Jerome was guarded Sykes some, but that was, a, you know, guard. And Jerome guarded uh, the kid from Canisius pretty well, too, the big burly guard. So I thought Jerome could handle Sykes in a pinch. Um, and I didn't want to play with three small guards tonight. I just wanted to have Malik out there as a guard, uh, JJ as a guard, um, and Jerome was the other guard that could guard, that could defend Sykes. How much did it help that Junior play the way he did? Junior's, you know, he's been terrific for us. He he rebounds, he, sh he shoots threes, he makes threes, he makes free throws. 
Um, he posts up. Uh, he defends. You know, the m remarkable thing about Junior now is he's defending threes. And, you know, he had never done that, I don't think, uh, as a as a um, package when he was younger. He's guarding centers and forwards in high school. And now he's guarding, you know, Division I, uh, American and Athletic Conference, uh, three men. So that's a huge adjustment for him. He's done very well with it. Junior, he's just a tough. He's a tough dude, man. You know, and uh, I'm glad he's here with us. Uh, I'm glad he got over his first semester freshman blues and off and on the court. Um, and he just has a, a will to win and do things right. So I'm glad we have him, and he's going to be. He's very special. Okay.